Right, everybody. Part two of the match with myself, Matt Fryer Golf, and Pro also at Alistair Davies Club. Club. and Golf Club. So you'll have seen part one if you're watching this now, guys. If you haven't, check the link below for part one over on Alistair's channel. We're all square at the minute. Not yep. many birdies. No, pars. It's a tough pars. day, though. Yeah, playing long. Cold a bit, isn't it? I take nine pars. Yeah. yeah. We'll make as many as excuses as we can now yeah. before we start hitting yeah. the ball again. So cold, heavy air, too many clothes on. That's about it, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, par four this one, Alistair, is it? Par four, yeah. Long par four this. It'll, it'll need two, two good hits to get up there today. Probably a drive the long iron or maybe a rescue today, I would think. Yeah. Um, what's, what's the play, or it? Ideally, down the right hand side, the trees on the left tend to come in. So, you know, I try, tend to hit a draw down the right because it plays long. Yeah. But you can hit a cut from the middle. Um, is not a bad play also right. and then the green is pretty big and there's uh, flags on the left today so the right side of the fairway hitting into that left hand flag is, is a good strategy right so it's a good good drive down the right really happy days driver yeah well still your honour just yeah. still clinging on to it yeah. give it a go Can you get out of the way i think we'll go for the bog standard cut <laughs> all i know right. Well hit, just slinging up the left hand side a bit too much. Yeah. Might, might just have to shape around the tree yeah. branches there a little bit. You might be okay, you might be fine back with the cold air to be okay. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, I hope you'll be on the tree. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and go down the right hand side. And fairly straight or even if ending a touch of draw flight. Okay, Let's see if we can produce. Into where mine is. Yeah. So we did the draw a bit. You can draw slightly at the toe. I think we call that karma after you. <laughs> and that's the comments. Right, we'll Actually, see you down there. Right, so two fairways. Good start to part two. Yep. Mine wasn't struck very well, so I'm a few yards back. <clears throat> that's my excuse anyway. Yep. Another um, one there. I've got it playing, it's playing about 200 yards, maybe 25. Yeah. Um, I've got to try and turn it. And I've got to make sure I can carry the bunkers. Yeah, so if, you can, and... if you can see, guys, we've got the trees just over here. The flag's about there at the minute, so obviously you've just got to try and draw it round those a little bit. So, I'm gonna try and it. how are you going to how are you going to go about that? Else, do you oh. change anything in your swing, or I'm going to change my setup, just preset everything. Yeah. So I'm going to aim the club head, uh, club face, just right at the flag. My feet pretty much over the bunkers. Yeah. And hopefully then, you know, with a non-square impact, the ball will cross where the face is aimed, and it'll finish just left of where the face is aimed. And hopefully get it up the pin high-ish really yeah you know anywhere near the green for years i'm pretty happy with yeah <clears throat> let's see what we can do so everything from set up and then the normal swing it's looking good looking very good didn't quite get 100 percent so it'll be a bit short yeah and you hit the sign up there, so that's not yeah. bad. Right flight is a bit thin. So, Matt, yeah. what have we got? Uh, 175, you know, seeing yours is playing quite long up there. Normally, 175 is a six iron for me, but four iron today. Still got to navigate those trees. So, very, very similar to what you've just described there. Just going to close my body down a little bit with the face, aiming left of where my body is, but right of the actual target. Can try and get a little four iron drawing in. Sounds good. Lights bang on. Let's see if he's got the right club. Yeah, oh. great shot. Great shot. Pitch just left of the flag. Birdie chance coming up. Right, so we found you just short here, Alistair, about 10 yards. Yeah. What were you seeing? What are we looking at? Well, I left myself with a little bit of an awkward shot, I think, because there's a slope just before the green, and then there's a only probably be about six to ten foot for the flag. Yeah. So I don't think I can probably pitch it on the green and, and check it up and stop it there from this close range. No. It's a high risk shot anyway. Yeah. And if I get it slightly wrong, the ball's going to hit the slope and come back. 
So what I'm going to try and do is land it short the slope and run it up the slope. Yeah. Uh, and take my chance in that and try and give myself a five, ten foot putt, really. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to use a nine iron, which is unusual. Nine iron. And I'm going to land it uh, short the slope going up, and I've got to have the right trajectory and flight for it to run up that slope. Yeah. Or trying use... to land them on a flat, are we? When we're playing these sort of shots, not into a slope. Yeah. Definitely my my, my philosophy, yeah, for sure. Um, so again, this is an unusual shot for this kind of uh, terrain, but we'll, we'll, we're going to see what we can do. Back to your uh, Lynx roots, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's not bad. It needs to go a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Didn't quite get it up there and it's rolled yeah. back a little bit. Yeah, still got a putt though. Okay, Matt, yeah. so you got a downhill putt here. Is, yeah. this a, is this a double breaker or is it a single breaker? Looking like a double, going to go left at the start, a bit left to right and then right to left. So, okay. Just going to start just outside the left of the hole, I think. Okay. A bit quicker, going to keep leaving myself in the, uh, the slick foot down the hills. Yeah. No help from you, of course. Yeah. Keeping quiet on that one. Didn't do a lot, it's fairly yeah. quick though. A bit bemused with that putt really, didn't have a total idea where I was going. Okay, I'll have to teach you some aim point stuff. That's it. I'll probably give you that one, you can pick your marker up there. Right, so we've got Alistair about 12 foot for par here, half a hole. Yeah. Seen a lot in it or? Slightly left to right, um, to get a bit of local knowledge there, it's probably about an inch from the, from the left, half an inch from the left really. Um, probably won't do as much as normal because of the holes in the green. But I'm going to try and just hit it firm up there again. There's, uh, there's no point in leaving this one short. That's it. So Put for the half, so you've got to get it there. Okay. A bit too firm. Hole 14. Yeah. 428, par 4. Uh, playing longer than that today, slightly uphill. Uh, not massive trouble up there. One, one, yeah. one fire bunker and a few little trees with your right. Yeah, I thought it was quite open, sort of. Open your shoulders a bit on this one. Or? Can do. It's not. Yeah. It doesn't. It, it normally doesn't play massively long. You need to. Just a solid drive will work. Yeah. But it's then again, everything's playing long today. Yeah. We found out so far. So um, yeah. What are yeah. you going to do? Cut, draw, straight. Cut again. Standard boring cut. Yeah. One up. So try and put the foot on the gas a little bit now. Yeah. Stop rubbing it in. <laughs> Yeah, good drive. Fraction, fraction left, but uh, a good play there. It'll do. Kick left a little bit yeah. too, but it's still a good play there. Flags on the right of the green, so a bit of placement there for me. Yep. Yeah. Open play. it up. I'm going to try and do the same, but just be a fraction right of your ball if I can. Start on your ball and just cut it a little bit to the plan. Perfect. Lovely strike. Yeah, better that one. Excellent. Right, so down in the fairway again, Alistair, a good shot off the tee. Yep. What I'm are we looking at? Left myself a slightly longer shot than I want in. Uh, got about 192, playing about 2 204. Um, flag on the right, so I'm going to try and cut a three iron and take a few yards off the three iron, but it is still playing probably a full three iron. Yeah. Yeah, well, minus about one or two yards, so I'm going to try and hit a nice hard cut off the middle of the green. See what you've got. Is what I can produce. Well, that is all over it. See the right club? Ooh. Just caught, short. Caught front edge, is that? Yeah, yeah. Apron, apron, I think. I couldn't have really much better, so happy. Happy, good strike. Right. Just off the fairway. Got 170, that pin's on the right, looks like there's a little bit of a slope on the green there as well, to the right, is there? Yeah, it's a bit of a bowl green, it slopes from the right down to the to the centre, then from the left into the centre, so yeah. it's definitely better to be uh, left of the flag here. Yeah. Not that I want you to have any help, but... No, nope. probably you're... telling me the, the opposite here. Um, left of the flag's a good play, pin high left and, and leave you an uphill putt there. Yeah, got 170, going to go with a 5 iron, normally a 6. Try and cut one in onto it, see what we can uh, produce here.
good looking shot, good strike, right up the flag. Yeah, good shot. Oh. Good shot. Give me that. Well, I don't know if it's that close, but yeah, good shot. So Matt's on the green a little bit shorter than we thought. Yeah, thought uh, it was two foot, 22 foot. So I'm still in with a chance here. Yeah, out okay? Out's great for me, thanks. This green's quite soft at the front, so it's probably why yours didn't bounce up at all. Yeah. So what you're seeing here, Alistair, have you got? It's quite a strong right to left putt, this. Uh, again, normally it would be. Uh, about sort of four or five golf balls right to left. Four or five to the right. I'm going to need to help you. Yeah. Um, but yeah it's, it's I'm just going to stand there and watch. Just trying to, yeah, try and get the right line and pace and try and get it up near the hole and trouble the hole a little bit. A little left. Yeah, it's getting left straight off the club, really. Good though. Three feet, take it away. Thank you. You're just going to copy the line? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, but try and start it a bit further right, obviously, than mine. Probably going to go, yeah. I've learnt a little bit from there, so. Pop for the win. We could do without him holding this. Don't want to go two down. Starting line. Ooh, great oh. pup. Great pup. Didn't actually expect to get that one. <laughs> Lucky break. Okay, here we are. Hole 15, nice par 3. Flags way on the left hand side there with those bunkers you can see in the distance. Uh, 195 yards. Uh, and Matt's got a four iron, I think. Yeah. Let's see what you can do with it, Matt. Heading towards the middle of the green, uh, might be front edge. Yeah, just front edge of the green in the middle. Long putt from there. Let's see how his long putting is. Right, so we've got Alistair here now. Hole 15, great par three, guys. The pin's actually tucked in here behind the bunkers. The green's all the way out here. He's got 195 going with four, Al. Going with four, yeah. Hard four. Yeah. Let's see what he can do. I've got a long putt, so if he can get one in close, he'll put a little pressure on me. Lovely looking golf shot, drawing it in nicely. Yeah, great shot. It's got about 30 foot. I've got about 130 foot. Okay, Matt's got like one of the world's longest putts here. He'll do well to two putt from this range. He's got to just focus on pace really from here, but uh, we'll try and track the putt for you and show you how he, uh, how he gets on. My name is Wedge. We'll try and track this ball as best we can. So, a little bit short of the hole. You had to come up a big slope here and a long putt. Right, so we've got Alistair. I've not hit a great putt there. I've got about 15, 18 feet left. Alistair's got about 30 foot. Yeah. Much in it, Alistair? Um, got three or four golf balls from the right, I'd say. As it dies. Try and zoom in on this one for you guys once he's hit it, get it tracked into the hole. Ooh. It's fast down there. Quick. Left the door open for me. So Matt's got this for a, a par. And hopefully might be good enough for half. Here we go. Good start line. Oh, just swung across the face of the hole. Thought that was good. You can take Long it away. Right, so we've got Alistair for the win. 
I've just three putted there, it was from a mile away, so let's see what he can do. Great putt, good three. So, that. guys, that's the end of part two down here at Forest of Arden. Um, do subscribe to Alistair Davies' channel. We're going to be on part three now, back over to his channel now for that one. Uh, I'm currently one on, is it? Yeah. yeah. So, it's going to be a good end to the match now. Some great holes to come out here. I've got to say, guys, of course, it's fantastic. If you do get the chance, do come down and play. As ever, guys, do subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it, and share it about, and we'll see you soon.